I've always had feelings for you. Will you go out with me, Mel? Excuse me, but I'm Mako. Mako, what are you doing? Let's hit the school shop. Okay, I feel like getting sweet bread today. Sure, which boy should we choose to treat us today? We are twins. We have the same face, body, breast size. We like the same food and the same type of clothes. Our mom is practically the only person who can distinguish us. But we've never had any trouble. Huh, who should it be? Let me pay today. I have money too, Mako. Mo. I choose you today. We're, We're literally, literally two, two as one. Hi, how's it going? What can I get for you today? I recommend. Hey, that's none of our business. Who cares what you recommend? Don't think you can be so friendly to us, you part-time worker. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, right. These girls are always smiling and cute and all, but they're really scary towards a part-time worker like me. One stressful thing about school is this part-time worker, Keita, who works at the school shop. We can't just accept part-time workers. It just means they're incompetent. But, but we, we only see, see Keita when, when we come, come here, here to, to the, the shop. shop. So we were able to stand it. Until recently. Mako and Mao's mother got remarried, right? Well, Mako and Mao are that cute, so I'm sure their mom is cute too. How great is that? Right. Last, Last month. month. Oh, I'm so lucky to have two cute daughters. This is Yoshiki. Isn't he handsome? He's going to be your father. Our mom got remarried to a man who is handsome and dandy and is a board member of a listed company. We weren't all for it at first because it was always just the three of us. I heard that this cosmetics shop is popular among female high school students and college students. I thought they would look great on you two. Can I buy you guys something? What? This, this is, is where, where we've always wanted, wanted to come. Aw, look at that cute family. He comes from a different planet than my dad. Yoshiki is very wealthy. He has class, and he is definitely not in the same league as some random guy around there. Hey, Mako. Yoshiki's really nice. Yeah, and he also makes mom happy. But, but the, the thing, thing is... We're, we're home! Uh... Hey, guys. This, this guy, guy is, is out, out of, of the, the question. question. His looks are out of the question. He's one year younger than us, but he doesn't go to school and he's always home. He's worse than Keita. I can't believe this dorky loser is going to live with us. What is he thinking? He's just spoiled because Yoshiki is so nice. I wonder what he'll buy us next. <coughs> Mako, are you okay? Oh, you must have remembered him. I it's okay, let's get you some medicine. <coughs> I, I can't breathe. <coughs> Mako! I'm Teruhiko. I spend most of the day in my room and I just go down to the living room for meals. That was my everyday life. My father got remarried, and I got two cute twin sisters. Nice, nice to meet you! you. Ooh, I wish I can speak more with them, but I don't know what to talk about. Oh, Terahiko. Our mom went out today, so we're making dinner. It'll be ready in a sec. Uh... Did you hear us? Uh... Hey, what's with that attitude? For God's sake, we're making dinner for you! What's your problem, you freak? Oh my god, they're pissed off. Since that day, there was a distance between us, but there was more. Huh, I should bathe now. Uh, what are you looking at? You weirdo. I'm sorry, that was not on purpose. And our distance grew. And finally, one day, there was a family meeting. Come on, Teruhiko, speak up. Teruhiko? Yoshiki, he's just sponging off on you. Yeah, if you let him continue like this, he'll just live wasting your money. We, we should, should kick him, him out. out. It's, it's for, for his, his own, own good. good. They were really persistent. Hmm, right. I've been feeling that, but I guess I've been avoiding this conversation. Teruhiko, pack up your things. You're leaving today. What? No! Please, don't do this! Dad! Hmm, sorry, kid. I'm 16, it's winter, and I was kicked out of my own house. How lucky was that? Now our house is comfortable. You won't have panic attacks again. This will be my house? The place I chose in a hurry was an old room with a kitchen and one room. 
My dad wrote the letter of consent. I feel like a hermit crab without a shell. So you're the new one to this apartment. Uh... I sense you're having some kind of trouble. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. I can help you get a job if you want. How about a moving company? A job? This sounds pretty demanding. And 900 yen per hour. I could never do this. After I was gone. Oh my gosh, Yoshiki, you're just so good at this game! <laughs> it was immature of me to do that. You're so funny! They were enjoying life without me. They seemed like a real family now. Yoshiki, you're going away on business from tomorrow, right? You should turn in. No, no we'll, we'll miss, miss you! you! Hey, Mo! Did you know that it was Yoshiki's birthday the other day? He's finally going to be home from overseas today! Let's go buy him a present before we get home! I just got my paycheck! Mako! Isn't that... So, the twins started to look into my dad. What's wrong, you two? Nothing. We, we want, want to ask about what we saw today, but we can't. We, we have, have to, to take, take care, care of this on our own. own. Because they needed to. Sure! Will you order me a dumb perignon? <laughs> oh, you're so cute, Jun. We should go on a trip sometime. Of course, I'm loaded. Although, technically, it's not my money. What? So, how are things with your new wife? <laughs> Good. It's not like I liked her or anything. But she actually believes that I work at a great company. So I get to play around during the day. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's got these cute twins. I mean, it's better to live with young and cute girls, right? Ew, you're sick. The wife is just an extra freebie. <laughs> The twins went home and told their mom that my dad remarried her for the twins. <laughs> I thought he was acting weird lately. He stopped paying for household expenses these two months. We can't go on living like this. But I'm pregnant. What? what? I'm home. Mako, Mao. I'm so glad to see you girls. Uh -huh. What the hell? You guys are only after my money too. How could you blame all this on me? The twin sisters forced my dad to tell them everything. But he had it coming. Things that I had taken for granted for 16 years were taken away from me. I started living on my own and started working. I made some friends and people I can trust. And I finally saw that what my dad has been doing to me was not normal. Hmm, it's already been a year since I started living on my own. This is fun. I should have done this sooner. When I was relaxing at home, someone came to my door. I opened the door. The twins were standing there sobbing. <laughs> Please! You have to come back! We, we need, need you to, to help, help our, our family! Our, our mom, mom is pregnant, pregnant so... Please! Um... But don't you think that's a little unfair? I mean, you guys are the ones who kicked me out. But once you found out that I have the money, you're asking me for help? But I wanted to help. Okay, so it's finally time to use this. After I started living on my own, I used a private investigator to record all the bad stuff my dad has been doing and kept the data. I didn't have the courage to send my own father to jail, but now I'm determined. He should pay for what he's done. Phew, I should pay Teruhiko a visit to get some money. He has no courage to turn me away. I literally brainwashed him. Excuse me, sir. You're Yoshiki Fukuzawa, right? You're under arrest for DUI and assault. After a while, I heard from the police that my dad was arrested. Teruhiko, are you still upset that I kicked you out? Please, bail me out with your money. It's normal for children to pay for their parents. So, here it is. Since I was small, I've been strictly told that children should live for their parents. So, I learned how to do some programming, established a company, and started making some money. All the money went to his bank account, and I was so happy to be praised by my dad. Come on, Teruhiko! Are you good? It's, it's your, your day, day off. off. We're, We're going to Moneyland all day! Why, Why would, would you be a CEO and still work for a moving company? company? You're too busy! Uh, 
an amusement park? All day? That doesn't sound so good to me. Besides, the moving company thing is kind of a workout for me. Come on, don't make him feel uncomfortable. Thank you so much, Teruhiko. Financially supporting us and everything. That's okay. Your father was not a very good person. He never worked, but he was so bossy and arrogant and it became a trauma for them. So they started having panic attacks just by seeing guys who don't have proper jobs. Hmm, I've heard. I've also heard that that was the reason why they hated me first. But Mako and Mao are like angels for me. If they didn't kick me out of the house, I would have kept being brainwashed and taken advantage of by my father without having any doubts. And I would have kept on living like that. Now, I want to start using money for myself. Hey, hey let's, let's go! go! Mao, you still have the tags on your clothes. <laughs> I'm Mako! When are you going to get it right? So, we never had the blessing of having a good father. But, we have each other now to keep on bonding. <sighs> All living things reproduce to leave behind future generations. Subsequently, the more fertile the opposite sex is, the more we find them attractive on an instinctual level. All the creatures in the world have this trait in common. And of course, this includes both animals and humans. <laughs> Please look, Mr. Murabushi! There's lots of dandelion fluff floating around! I'm Miko. I'm the grade A maid to Master Murabushi of Murabushi Group, a world-class conglomerate. And this person standing here is Master Murabushi, the president of the Murabushi Group. My dream is to someday become a grade S maid and give birth to Mr. Murabushi's child. Master Murabushi? How many times does a human male come in his lifetime? It's said to be 10,000 times on average. Wow! That many? I'll take all of Mr. Murabushi's seed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you will. Oh, I just thought of something. Mr. Murabushi? Right then, Mr. Murabushi's devilish grin gave me chills for a moment. I never thought something like that would happen! Huh? Really? Shoo, you got another new girlfriend? Well, yeah. Girls just throw themselves at me once I'm single. I wanna try saying something like that too! It's the privilege of the popular, huh? What's so good about Shu anyways? Seriously, he gives me a bad feeling. Uh, Hiromu, teach me this part. Okay, I'm Hiromu. I'm in the Brass Band Club. You! You're hanging out with the girls again? How oh, is it fun for a guy to play this thing? Uh, give that back! He's my classmate, Shu. He's the exact opposite of me. Manly and muscular. It's because you're like this that they don't see you as a man. Should we confirm if you're the real deal down there? Take it off! Stop it! <laughs> he said to stop! What a joke! To a person such as Shu, he's probably completely unable to understand someone like me. Alright everyone! We're gonna decide the roles for the school festival play! We're performing Romeo and Juliet, the occurrence of the visualization event. Okay! okay. It's happening frequently and becoming more popular everywhere. A phenomenon where numbers or letters appear over people's heads. We call it visualization. The world's nations are putting an all-out effort into finding out the cause. But they've so far been unable to. And there's been no investigative report to date. Even so, they didn't have to put it into the play as well. Now then, first up are the roles of the hero and heroine. Who wants to do it? I don't want to be Juliet! It's embarrassing! Someone else do it! It was a worst case scenario where no one wanted the roles. At that moment... Ha! <laughs> I'll be Romeo! Shoo! You'll be perfect for it, huh? Now we're just left with Juliet. I think Hiram was great for the role of Juliet! Huh? M me I second that! I think it's outdated nonsense that just because it's a heroine, we have to choose a girl. Mm, that's true, too. Well, 
Do your best, Hiromu. Uh huh? Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Wherefore art those numerals on thy forehead? Or if thy numerals will not be gone, but be sworn, my love. <laughs> You're quite into it, even though you said you didn't want to. Even though Shu volunteered himself for the role, he didn't practice at all. I understand that you want to make fun of me, but at least go through your lines. No matter how I look at you, you look like a girl. Th that's not... I know. I'll smooth out your entire body with this razor. Uh, stop! Ah, oh, right. Yumi? Hmm? What is it, Shu? Put some makeup on him. Okay! Uh, stop it! <laughs> That's totally a girl! Say hello to Juliet, everyone! Wow! There's no masculinity left there at all. It seemed like Shu wouldn't rest until I was properly embarrassed, so I had no choice but to go along with it. However, his real intention was yet to be seen. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art those numerals on thy forehead? Uh huh? For some reason, the dress I was wearing came apart. My underwear was exposed on stage in front of everyone. Ah! That's disgusting! Oh, even if he's playing a role, did he really have to wear girl panties? That has to be a fetish. Because before the play, Shu had forced me to wear a pair of panties against my will. All of the audience burst into laughter. <laughs> this is the best! Oh, with this, it'll be impossible to go on living as a man! Could it be... you set me up? Well... Yeah... Since then, I was treated with derision by everyone. Oh, he's that guy. Seriously gross! Even the girls that I gotten along well with until now... Uh, sorry Distance themselves from me. At that time... Huh? There's numbers above their heads. What are those? A genuine visualization incident occurred. Uh, uh, here we go again with another visualization event. Uh, this time, what it shows is uh, shocking. It tells you the number of times a man will ejaculate in his lifetime. Of course, that means women aren't involved in this one. Uh, so now, uh, let's see how the men in the city are taking this. What were your thoughts when you saw how many times he would come in your life? No, no, this is the worst! I isn't this number really low? D doing it once a day is just routine for me, but doesn't this mean I can't even last 10 years? Uh, I've been feeling off lately, so I'm actually in the middle of fertility treatment now. But it's showing 5,000 times means that I'm already cured, right? I'm full of hope for the future! Since it's the number of ejaculations in your lifetime, it's possible you've already used up all of it. I'll be 90 this year. This number. It looks like I can still find more enjoyment in life. <laughs> That's all from the men of this city. See you next time. <laughs> no way! It's ridiculous how low that is. That's... So disappointing. Why do I feel like people are laughing at me? Uh, maybe it's got something to do with these numbers. Uh, I'll look it up. T Shil! Look at this! What is it? A visualization of how many times a man will ejaculate in his lifetime? My number? How could it be? It's... There's no way! It's impossible! Uh, Shil! Where are you off to? Uh, hey! Realizing what the visualization event was about, Shu immediately ran off, carefully covering his forehead all the while. Ah! Huh? Shu? What happened? Are you okay? Uh, ow! 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 Unbelievably, the number above this charmer's forehead was a measly one. Uh, oh no! I hit it down there when I fell! Someone, call the ambulance, or I'll lose the last shot I have left! Whoa. No way. I thought he was cool, but uh, how do I put it? Uh, he's super pathetic. 
he even made fun of Hiromu for not being manly enough. I mean, he's on his last rounds. No wonder he's panicking. I mean, he's my boyfriend, but I think Hiromo is loads better. <laughs> yeah, he's somehow really attractive. Uh, uh huh. For some reason, all the girls, including Shu's girlfriend, were making advances towards me. And unlike before. If it's Hiromu, it'll probably never get boring. Say, how many times a day can you make me feel good? <laughs> Wanna try it out later? Come on, let's play! Uh, uh, hold on! You're too close! As a man, I've never been on the receiving end of such passionate gazes. They were so intense, they made me scared, and I ended up running away. I- I'm sorry! I wrested myself from their grasps, and tried to get out of the school as fast as I could. Wait, Hiromu! Where are you? W what I truly feel for you is... With my conflicting feelings, I chased after Hiromu. Sure enough, I caught up to him in no time. Show me your visualization number! Save me! Sure! Ah, look at that guy! No way! I wonder if he's taken! This is a first for me. I'm scared. It... it can't be. My cute Hiromu... 50,000 times? Uh, that's it. I'm out of time. I'm gonna say it clearly. The truth is that... I'm in love with you. I humiliated you like that because I wanted to see you as a girl. And also keep you away from the mob of girls around you all the time. I'm really sorry for hurting you all this time! I... I understood... If only barely... Really? Then let me give you my last... I, I don't think that's possible... I... I guess so... Sorry for making you suffer so badly... What I mean is... It's a zero... Huh? Ow! Huh? What was that? Huh, well then. It seems the latest visualization event has come to an end. What effect did this particular event have on our society? Was it a shock when you found out you didn't have a high number? <laughs> yeah, I haven't done it much in the first place, but 900 in a lifetime is quite a small number. That's why, if only for my girlfriend's sake, I'm going to cherish every precious shot I have. <laughs> Thanks to this, our relationship has deepened significantly. How was the experience of this visualization event for the women? I mean, for me, I'm super sad it ended. Mm hmm? Well, what do you mean by that? Uh, I mean, just because. <laughs> <sighs> I have zero left. Me? Zero. How do I show Hiromu my manliness now? Hello? Are you having some troubles? If you don't mind, I'll lend you a listening ear. Uh, President Motoboshi of Motoboshi Group? Please, help me! I heard that you're a pro in the matters of procreation. W what happened is, I found out from the visualization event that I have zero shots left in me. If it's like this, to the guy I like, how can I show him even one millimeter what makes me a man? Hmm... Sounds complicated. I think it's faith that we met here and had this discussion. I could offer you a special treatment for your problem. Seriously? That was what I thought of. But what's important isn't how many times you can do it. It's the affection you show. That's the best gift you can give to your beloved. After that, Shu started treating me really kindly for some reason. To be honest, it was kind of creepy. I told you, I don't need all these snacks. Uh, right. Sorry. <sighs> then... Do you want to eat them together? Uh, sure. Feeding him, I felt better than I thought I would. Game set! Wow, I am these are really good! How bad is Sosuke, though? I thought he was on the tennis team. Tell me about it. 
My name is Sosuke. I'm a junior at S Money High School. I got really into the popular tennis manga Manipuri and decided to join the tennis club from high school. Although, I'm so bad at it, I even lose to people who aren't even on the tennis team. Ah, cheer up! Hey, I'm not feeling down or anything. And I have a crush on this girl. Look, it's Kumi! She's so cool! Damn, it would feel so good to hit a smash like that! Kumi is a senior, and she's also in the tennis club. She is the queen bee of the Yes Money High School tennis team. She's got the looks of an idol, but she's also a national tennis player. I heard that she's got over 100,000 followers on her Instagram. She's awesome! Yep, she basically appears to be perfect. But she's actually totally wild. Hey, freshmen! Aren't you guys capable of anything? Our tennis club summer camp is known for our hard practice. After you do 100 practice swings, you got three laps coming up! Okay! okay. That is Yoji. He's the captain of the tennis club, and he's the best player among the guys. Are you okay? Drink this up. You should hydrate. <laughs> Thanks, Sosuke. Sosuke! My, my, aren't you acting all grown up? What? What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm just wearing you in tennis balls. But why? Isn't it funny? Ah! She's always like this, doing and saying weird stuff. Sosuke! Do I see you playing around? How about 200 practice swings? Uh, got it. Aw, someone's in trouble. <laughs> and whose fault was it? As soon as Kumi was out of sight, Yoji came to me. Don't get the wrong idea. It's not like Kumi likes you or anything. She's just fooling around with you because you're weak. Uh, I know. Maybe he likes Kumi too. He gets really pissed when Kumi jokes around with me. Uh, ready, set, go! Hey, quit it! Don't blow out my sparkler! The camp is tough, but we also have some fun after practice. Guess who? Uh, Kumi! Oh, were you startled? Uh, yes. Hey, do you know I'm always teasing you? Oh, um, why? That is because it's funny when you look all stupid. Whoa! <laughs> what did you think I was gonna say? Hey, this isn't funny! Sosuke, do something crazy again and you're gonna be doing a hundred laps tomorrow! What? That wasn't even me! Okay, now he probably hates me. Now that we're done with the fireworks, let's move on to the annual popularity vote of the team. In this game, you vote the name of the person you have a crush on in the club. The person who's gonna get the most votes is so obvious, there's really no point doing this. So, let's see who wins! The winner for the girls is... Kumi! Well, no one's even close to your number. Wow, thanks! Of course, I voted for Kumi too. I wonder who she voted for. And the winner for the guys is... Aw, me? <laughs> nice. The two of you would look really good together. Like you didn't know that already. Yeah, for someone as popular as Kumi, it has to be someone like Yoji. Oh wow, there's one vote for Sosuke! <laughs> who voted for him? Hey, you're not supposed to find out who's voted for who? Who would vote for me? Huh? Did Kumi just look at me for a second? Oh my god, what am I thinking? The camp went by really fast. November, and a new term began. Bye, Mom! Hmm, is that Sosuke? Sosuke, are you going out? Yeah. Kumi has been talking to Sosuke a lot these days. There's no way Kumi would like someone like that. I'm going to buy a birthday present for Kumi. The tennis club was planning a birthday party for Kumi, and we were to prepare a birthday gift each within 1,000 yen. Can you get me a sponge there? Thanks. A sponge? I'm going off to buy a present. I'd have to go somewhere else to buy a sponge. I want to take time picking out the presents, so I should buy the sponge first. Huh? They're sold out. So, I came across this weird situation where they're out of sponges. You're out of sponges too? Everywhere I go, they're out of sponges. Oh, what? Is that the time? I was supposed to buy a present for Kumi, but all the shops had closed while I was looking for a sponge. Everyone is celebrating my birthday today, and they all gave me presents after school. There was one loser who didn't bring a present though. Sorry, I'm really, really sorry. That loser brought me a present the next day. 
Kumi, I'm sorry I couldn't bring this to you yesterday. And he gave me some kind of ointment for blisters. Maybe because I recently bought some new shoes. Well, he does notice these kinds of stuff. But it's not a fun present, is it? I really want to get to know Kumi more, but I can't. Hear me out, Yakubi. Hmm, what's wrong? The more I know about her, the more mysterious she gets. I especially don't get what makes her angry. What? Really? Hey, did you know that someone's underwear was stolen the other day in the volleyball team? That's sick. Underwear? Underwear? I don't mind giving people my underwear if they want it. What? Really? Can I please have one then? Ew. Ew! I thought it was like her to not care about underwears, but then... Do you want to go to the pool sometime? Yeah, let's do that! Kumi, you seem to be good at swimming. What? What are you talking about? I don't want to go! Why would I want to show my skin to random people? Oh, uh, uh, sorry. And she was totally pissed off! Uh, I don't get it. What's the difference between underwear and swimwear? Uh, right. And you know what? She totally didn't mind talking about her first love in the club room. But when we were talking about bringing our childhood pictures, she got all mad and said it was an invasion of privacy. I don't see where she draws these lines. Apparently, Kumi made her first love eat some kind of mud ball on Valentine's Day. Time went by, and it was almost time for graduation. Wow, we're almost graduating. It's so fast. High school was so much fun. Totally. <sighs> fun? What fun? I haven't had any fun yet. Speaking of fun, it would have been fun to have someone, like, shout out their feelings for me or something in front of everyone. Oh, you mean like someone shouting I love you from the rooftop? Yeah, wouldn't that really be romantic? Really? Shouting I love you? So, I'm actually thinking if I should do that. <laughs> Shouting. Hmm. Well, you only live once, so do whatever you want. I know I'm not exactly the type, but I didn't think I can go out with her unless I did something like this. Hair? Check. Uh... Voice? Check. And? Hey, are you okay? Your hands and feet are looking all wrong. I... I'm good. And I somehow made it to this day. Tomorrow is finally graduation day. If I can't do it today, I can never do it. I'm going to do it! Kumi! In Class 3C! Hey, Kumi, look! Someone's shouting at you! Huh? Okay, they can hear me. People are gathering to see what's going on. But I'm so nervous that I can only see Kumi. What is this? Kumi! I always have and always will love you! Sosuke! Will you go out with me? Kumi, what are you gonna do? Oh wow, this is fun! <laughs> Sorry, but I can't! Oh man... I literally collapsed. I was turned down in front of the entire school. And for a while, everyone who passed by gave me a pat on the shoulder and said something to comfort me. <laughs> that was a good one. I, uh, I totally respect you for that. For you, that wasn't so bad. On graduation day, you know, I heard that when you're hurting, you should sing your heart out. Uh, I might as well do that. Ah! Uh, oh my god, what's gotten into him? He's literally losing it. I, I did tell him to sing his heart out, but... So, this is how my crush ended. <laughs> hey, it's been almost an hour. When are you gonna finish cleaning that window? Or, at least that's how it seemed to be. But a few days later... Can you get the door for me and stop cleaning that window already? I was like this, and was unable to do anything. What? Kumi? Hey, can I come in? What? Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so... What's up? I came to see your face. What? But, um, you rejected me. And you still came to see me. This happened so fast. I couldn't get my head around this situation. But I just had to ask why she rejected me. Oh, um... I is it how I shouted in front of everyone? I need to at least ask why. No, that's not it. Er, there's something about me that you should know. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? She started taking her clothes off. 
Well, that's weird enough, but... Can you let it go now? What is this? I did this to myself when I was small. I've done so many things since I was small, but this... I even think I overdid it. What? What is this? A QR code? Yeah. You wouldn't want to go out with someone with a QR code engraved in their body, right? And then, she added meekly in a small voice that I've never heard before, that she thought her body would be a turn-off. Is that the reason why I was rejected? Yeah. Well, surely a QR code on the body is totally crazy, but... Hmm, you know what? I've always known how crazy you are. Whether you have a QR code on your body or not doesn't really change how I feel about you after all these years. Huh, so let me ask you again. Will you go out with me? With pleasure! So, this is how we ended up going out. Kumi hasn't changed and she would splash me water, or smash my face with a cake and do all sorts of random things. But I was always happy to be able to be with her. Although, there is one thing that continues to bother me. Uh, I really want to know what's on this QR code. She told me that I can never look what's on this code. But I got so curious, I finally scanned a QR code. What? What is this? Oh my god! You've seen it! Ah! There were all kinds of pictures. When I was small, I got sick of managing all these pictures, so I saved the date and put on my body. Uh, okay. She's officially a lunatic. Wait a minute. When did she get all these pictures? That's a picture of us at the aquarium the other day. Hey, you put this QR code on your body when you were small, right? Why does it have the picture of me now? Because I want to keep it, duh! That's what she said. But what do you think? Uh, hang in there. Get it! Pass it to Michio, hurry! Hey, Michio, pass! Okay, I got it! Ah! Whoa, he's dunking! Great job, Michio! Amazing! That is so unfair! There's no way we can block a dunk shoot. <laughs> My bad. Michio, you are so cool for being able to dunk. I wish I could play basketball like you. <laughs> Thanks! My name is Michio Takase. I weighed six kilos when I was born. I heard that's twice a regular baby size. I kept growing at a rapid pace. I am tall enough to dunk at my elementary school basketball goal now. What's gonna happen if I keep growing like this? You'll stop eventually. Seriously though, look at my feed! Ugh! I think my pants just ripped! <laughs> I can see your underwear, man! Cut it out! Stop staring! <laughs> you should hide it so nobody else can see! <laughs> hey, it's not funny, okay? Guess I have to tell mom that my pants ripped. Mom, my pants ripped while I was walking home today. What? How can your pants rip as my walking home from school? I'm sorry. We can't buy you a new one. We have no money. You should sew it up. What? Jeez, even your father sews his pants when they rip. How will you survive a life if you can't sew up a hole? Uh, okay. I'm sorry. And so, I started working on my pants to cover up the hole. I come from a poor family. My father and I always wear shabby clothes. My mother is the only one who buys new clothes. Ow! <sighs> Why do I have to be so clumsy? The following morning, I had to go to school in the same pants as yesterday. I can't say I did a good job covering up the hole. Did you watch the anime yesterday? I did. I wonder what happens to the main character after this. I can't wait for next week. All the guys are talking about an anime. My family's too poor to own a TV. The only entertainment I have is listening to the radio. That's why. Yo, man, who do you think the next Prime Minister will be? Huh? Uh, let me think. Dude, nobody cares about stuff like that. What the heck is he talking about? Oh, <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> As you can see, I have trouble talking to my classmates. We were in math class when a tragedy happened. Okay, Takase-kun, why don't you come up to solve this problem? Sure. I stood up and walked to the front of the classroom to write my answer on the blackboard. Good, that's correct. <laughs> Yay! You can go back to your seat now. Okay. It happened when I started walking back to my seat. Huh? My pants ripped again. Only this time, everybody could see my underwear through the gaping hole. It wasn't just my pants. 
My underwear was on the brink of splitting apart, too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that's hilarious! I can't believe his ass is just out there! Ew, that's gross. Did something happen? Hey, what? What, what are you doing? It's not my fault, I swear! The male teacher scolded me. He thought I was showing my underwear on purpose to cause trouble. After we cleared things up, I was sent to the nurse's office to change my clothes. Ah, <sighs> thank God they believe me. But what am I gonna do with my pants? <laughs> Michio, keep your head high, man! Nothing like this would've happened to you guys. <laughs> Don't worry, none of us think any less of you, okay? <laughs> Are you laughing at me or comforting me? You two let me into his house after that. He said I could borrow a pair of his older brother's pants. Huh? Seriously? Yeah, I brought this for my brother's room. Are you sure he's gonna be okay with this? I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, do you want a pair of underwear too? Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Great then. You two looked out the window and saw his older brother on his way home. Oh crap, he's coming home! Get out of here, Michio! Oh, okay. I rushed out before Yuto's brother could find me. I dashed out the door just in time to see Yuto's brother heading towards it. Micah-chan, you should come in. Oh, it's okay. I have to go. I have plans after this. Bye. Huh? My name is Micah Endo. I'm a junior in high school. That guy back there wanted to hang out, but he wasn't worth my time. He invited me in, but I would never do that. <sighs> I'm bored. Gosh, I just know my Prince Charming is out there waiting for me. I kept walking while imagining what my perfect guy would look like. Just then. So you dropped it around here? Yes, I think so. Two guys were searching for something. I decided to help. Is something wrong? Yes, I dropped one of my contacts. I've been looking all over, but I still haven't found it. This guy is too old for me. He isn't handsome at all. Let me help you then. Oh, are you sure? The more the better, right? This guy is kind of rugged. He's not my usual type, but he seems like a nice guy. A few minutes later. Oh, I found it. Thank God. Thank you so much. I don't know how I can repay you. You don't have to repay me for anything. I didn't do too much. Gosh, thank you so much. Thank you for looking with us. Oh, his smile is so sweet. Maybe he's a bit younger than me. Something about him was intriguing. I wonder why I'm feeling like this right now. Okay then, I guess I'll get going. Oh, sure. Wait, that's a Randosaru. Is he in elementary school? It can't be. The next day. I think I found somebody I'm interested in yesterday. Oh, is he your soulmate? Well, I wouldn't say he's a soulmate. Huh? What does that mean? Uh... Hey, Micah-chan. Do you want to go home together again? Oh, no thanks. Oh. Okay. After school, I worked at a clothes store called Manikuro as a part-time employee. Micah-chan, can you teach me how to use the cash register? Oh, sure. This guy's name is Keita. He recently joined us and is working the same shift as me. I was uneasy about him at first since he looks so shallow, but he's not as bad as I thought. He's older than me but has a boyish charm. He's still not my type, though. Hmm, how do you do this? I can't stop thinking about that guy. Micah-chan, are you listening? Randoseru, hmm. Just then, I saw the guy walking into the store. Wait, isn't that... He started roaming around the underwear section. Can I help you with something? Oh, uh, well... Excuse me! He ran out of the store as if he was running from Keita. I finished doing what I was doing and tried to chase him. However, he was already gone by the time I got outside. I got home from Manikudo and mustered the courage to ask my mother. Mom, my underwear's too small for me. Can you get me some new ones? I just need 500 yen, please? We don't have 500 yen to waste on things like that. I told you to sell your clothes. Sell them! But, but... Not only did she not give me money, but she also scolded me. I decided to see if Yuto had any advice for me about my situation. On my way there... I might get to bump into him here. This is where I met him the other day. Oh, you! Y you I bumped into the girl I met the other day. So you remember me. I'm glad. Of course I do. Thank you for helping us the other day. After that, he inter we introduced ourselves to each other. Her name was Micah, and she works part-time at a clothing store called Manikudo. Uh, um... Yes? Why did you have a Rondoseru with you? Michio, what are you doing here? Oh, you two. I was hoping you could help me with something. That's an elementary school kid. Wait, Micah-san, 
what did you just ask me? Oh, it was nothing. So he's in elementary school? Micah-san suddenly ran off without finishing our conversation. Hmm, I wonder why she ran off. Yuto let me into his room after that. So what do you think about what my mother said? Unbelievable! I could lend you my brother's underwear for real, you know? That's kinda weird. Yuto told me I had an idea. I decided to hear him out. Okay? Yeah, sounds good. Yep. The next day after school. After talking with Yuto, we headed into Manikuro to get me a pair of underwear. I picked a pair of men's underwear and found Micah and a shallow-looking guy at the cash register. Hello. Oh, thank you for coming. Micah-san, these underwear... Yes, that would be 500 yen. Um, well... Hmm? Can you please give me these pants? I promise I'll pay you back someday. Please! Uh, what? He wants them for free? Um, er... Uh, why don't you want to pay for these? Did you not bring money today? I'm an elementary school student. My body keeps growing, and my clothes are getting too small for me. But my mother won't buy me any new clothes. Hmm, you don't look like an elementary school kid. I see. So you really are that young. Why won't his mother buy him any clothes? That's cruel. Here, Michio, come with me. Huh? Micah-san looked frustrated. She grabbed me and the underwear I brought to the cash register and pulled me towards the dressing rooms. Uh, um, Micah-san, what are you? Take off your pants. I need to see how small your underwear is. I'll put on the new underwear for you. Wait, what? I finally know why I was feeling the way I was. Move your hands! W wait Micah-san! Uh, I was... Just when I thought Micah-san was going to get to my pants, the shallow-looking employee came barding to the dressing room. Ah, that is a bit too inappropriate! Oh! Hey, uh, you can have the underwear! Uh, bye! He pulled Micah-san out of the dressing room. I was left there all alone. After that... The guy's name turned out to be Keita. He, Maiko, and Yuto came with me to see my mother. They said they would help me convince my mother. However... I can't take this anymore! Take what?! My socks are barely holding together! I only have two pairs of underwear! Why do I have to live like this?! Came home to my parents having a huge fight. My father was furious because he never got new clothes, while my mother always had new ones. There's no need for you to care about how you look! It broke my heart to see them arguing like that. It's not about impressing others! I'm saying I want to live a proper life! G guys My parents hadn't noticed any of us coming to the room until I butted in. Micah-san immediately started talking to my parents. Michio-kun needed underwear, but he didn't have any money. Huh? Don't you feel bad at all? Don't you see what you're doing to your son? <sighs> you only buy clothes for yourself. Why can't you see how miserable it's making the rest of the family? Uh, fine, I'll buy whatever you need. My mother finally agreed to help me. She used to only buy new clothes for herself. My mother agreed to cut down on her spending so she could prepare the proper amount of clothes for me. Wow, so this is what it's like to wear clothes that fit right. That's the first time I heard someone say that. Oh, and I paid for the underwear from the other day. You can pay me back when you grow up. <laughs> I promise I will. I felt comfortable around Micah-san. She was like a loving mother. You can come to me if you ever need anything else. I'm here for you. Thank you! Hey, guys. What do you guys want to be when you grow up? I want to be a flower store worker. I definitely want to be a soccer player. Uh, I don't know what I want to be. Yeah! I want to be a YouTuber! What is the perfect job? The job that your personality is best suited to do. I am Moroboshi. I'm meeting up with Keita for my weekly walk and talk. Hey, Keita, what do you think is your perfect job? Huh? I'm definitely a freelancer. What about you? Hmm, I think businessman. Or maybe a doctor. Oh, wow, look at you! You're such a genius! You could probably do anything! But what defines the perfect job? High income? Worth doing? Something that people respect? There aren't many jobs like that, though. Most people say that what they've been doing for a long time is their perfect job. At least, that's what I hear a lot. A lot of people would find it tough to say this is the perfect job when they just started working there. 
Even if they did say that, I'd be worried about how stable they are. <laughs> True. Man, it's really busy today. Huh? There's a fire! Ah, it's like that day. October 1st. Talk about bad memories. My name is Kazuto. Six years ago, on the day, my whole house burnt up. <laughs> oh no. Our home. <laughs> we built this house so recently. A few years later, I'm home. All three of us lived in a small one-bedroom apartment. Welcome home. Are you hungry? We have some snacks. Thanks, Mom. Welcome home. I got some expensive steaks from a client today. Let's all have it for dinner. What? Really? Even though it was very unfortunate, my parents always made sure that I was happy. I wanted to become an architect to build a nice house for my parents. Um, what are you making? A big trash can? <laughs> you're so bad at that that I can't tell what you're making. It was supposed to be a school, but it's not that good, is it? Hey, Chinatsu! You need to stop! You're the worst making fun of someone's work! Oh my god, you're like a teacher or something, Hinata! Shut up! I mean, I want to be a teacher, so... <laughs> what a loser! I want to be a model! With my amazing looks and my beautiful style, I'm destined to become an actress or a model. <laughs> oh, Chinatsu! You can definitely make it! <laughs> it's nice to see losers sticking together. You're perfect for each other. <laughs> what the hell is her problem? <sighs> Trash can, huh? She would say whatever she wanted and leave. That night, I told my family that I was worried. Oh, you got this. You can be anything if you just keep working at it. But I'm not very good. That just means you need to practice more. Everyone's pretty bad when they start. That's right. I'll make sure to work hard so I can send you off to college, so don't worry. Mom, Dad, thank you. Hmm, desired college. I want to go to this college. <laughs> Money S College. How could you get in? Except reality, loser. But it's fine to want to go to a college. You're just gonna pay for the entrance exam fee and then get rejected. <laughs> loser. LOL. Thanks. You wanted to be a teacher, right? <laughs> That's perfect for you. What the hell is that about? Rude. Huh, you want to be an architect, huh? I do think your work needs some refining, but I think you have talent. I'll be cheering for you. Uh, you think so? Oh, that makes me happy. I wonder if I should really try to be an architect. What if I really don't have any talent? I was being depressed as I was walking through the hallway when... What is that? And when I went to my job... Oh, seriously? That's insane! The cake at the new store is really good! Maybe we should go buy it on the way home today! No way! Did it start again? No! It's Yamaguchi reporting live again! The visualization event! Uh, I'm happy that this is what was visualized for me! Let's go interview! I didn't realize that my five-month-old baby would be this. What am I supposed to do? I... I'm sure it'll be alright, Mom. I've always walked around with men flirting everywhere I went. But now all of the men avoid me because of this. <laughs> but I like muscular men, so this means only strong men will come near me. Ah, I like a strong woman too. Uh, uh, you're not my type. Can you tell me how you feel about your profession? <laughs> yeah, my mom and dad want to educate me to become a pilot, but after they saw this, they stopped letting me into the house. 
sorry to bother you while you're going to school. I I'd like to interview. Uh, uh, no! Sorry! Bye! <laughs> what the hell is this? I can't go to school or home with this on my head! Huh? Your perfect job is pretty good. I think you do great with me. Come on, let's have some fun! <laughs> Right around the same time, I was walking around and having people stare at me. They're all just staring at me. It's kind of embarrassing. I heard Hinata screaming somewhere. Oh, come on! Let's be real. You want to get along with me. I know you're hiding it. Kazuto! Hinata! Are you okay? Stop bothering her! If you keep this up, I'm going to call the police on you! Ah, uh, damn it! We were gonna have some fun! You little... Hinata! Let's go! Y yeah I pulled Hinata and noticed her visualization. I was pretty shocked. I know. There are so many professions. Why did this have to be... Ugh! My parents were both teachers, so I wanted to become a teacher too. But I can't show this to my parents. I'm sure it's just a job that you do good in. It doesn't mean that that's definitely the job you have to do. Huh? My job is pretty vague too. So, we can change our future with how hard we work from now. It's more important to focus on the job we want to do and not the job we're good at. Kazuto. Let's work hard together. I was cheering her on when... Oh! M my job changed! <laughs> Great! That job is actually perfect for you! <laughs> I was about to give up. Thank you so much. Your perfect job. I think you'll reach that point if you keep it up. You think so? Whoa, look at that! After we got to school, the classroom was a ruckus. Hinata's job is sketchy as hell. Seriously, I would have stayed inside. <laughs> she was so confident about becoming a model. <laughs> kind of ironic. <laughs> What's all the ruckus about? Shinatsu is in the center of it. Hmm. D don't look! Why do I have to do this when I'm so pretty? I'm sure your job is... <laughs> your perfect job is CEO! Jeez, your perfect job is CEO? That's awesome! I mean, you do seem like you're kind of smart. Yeah, but I'm not sure what I'd be the CEO of. I'm sure you'd be the owner of an architecture company. And she's the queen of a pig den. <laughs> she's right there. <laughs> she knows she's in deep pig shit. <laughs> the visualization event lasted three months and has finally come to an end. Let's see what kind of effects have been observed. Time to interview! I kind of joined college just because I was scared of what to do for my future. But this event pushed me to go for becoming a lawyer, so I finally figured out what to do. My perfect job was a singer, but I was just a farmer in real life though. If I had gone down that road, maybe my life would have been more wild, but I'm totally satisfied with a farmer. I was blessed with a wonderful family. I have ten great grandkids. I'm happy. Your perfect job was freelance, huh? I know! I'm so happy! Your perfect job was creator! That's even crazier! What does that even mean? Hmm, you know what it means. Ten years later, I was visiting Hinata, who had become a teacher. Hey, Hinata. Sorry to keep you waiting. Sorry for inviting you. I know you're busy. There are way more pigs that we need to raise now, so we need to design a new sty. No worries. This building has always been around since I was young, so don't worry about it. You really look like a teacher now. Really? Oh, thanks. The kids just mess with me all the time. Oh, here's the place we're going to expand on. If we use this land too much, we'll shut out the sunlight. Oh, I see. 
That's why we should expand in this direction. I'm Chinatsu. I'm going to be taking care of the pigs starting today. Uh, you guys. Are you Chinatsu from... I heard there would be a new person, but it was you? Huh. If you want to laugh about it, laugh about it! A about how the visualization was right! I I'm not gonna laugh at you. It's an honest living and necessary. You must be happy being a teacher! I'm just... Hinata's first job was different. Huh? Yeah, it's almost embarrassing to bring up. Then, how are you a teacher? She knew what she wanted to do, so she went for it, against the visualization. So, I'm sure you can be whatever you want to be, too. It's never too late. If we don't get results in the next competition, I'm going to abolish the track and field department. What? Please, wait! There are only five members in the track and field team, and not a single freshman. At this point, it's already on the verge of being abolished. I've asked many times, abolishing it all of a sudden. And so, place in the top three at the Motoboshi Cup. If you do, I'll let this department continue. If you get good results here, I wonder if I can shake Motoboshi-san's hand. <sighs> That's right. The principal is a big fan of Motoboshi-san. Because of the principal's words, our track and field team was on the verge of being abolished. I'm Moroboshi, the head of the Moroboshi Group, one of the world's leading conglomerates. My hobby is business and I also work as a doctor and scientist. Hey, Nico, I'm thinking of starting a track and field team soon. What do you think? Wow, that sounds like a great idea. If it's team you make, I'm sure you'll get first place. Thanks. How will you pick the athletes, though? Yeah, that's why I'm thinking of opening an original track competition to see the high school students around the North Mani City area. The winning school will be chosen based on the combined scores of short distance, javelin, marathon, and pole vault. I want to narrow down the number of people, so I'm thinking of only having one boy or girl compete at each event. Sounds good. That's what I'm talking about, Moroboshi-san. Hey, Toya. Can't you get faster? All the members of the track and field team go through basic training and then start their individual practices. My name is Toya. I'm a high school sophomore and my main sport is javelin. You're so slow! I... I'm sorry. Not everyone in the track team is good at running. Run with us too, Kanihiko-san! <laughs> Don't I always say, I'm not interested in anything other than jumping and splendor and beauty. His name is Kanihiko, a perfect example of an unfortunate, handsome guy. His pole vaulting records are excellent, but he slacks off for other practices. Uh, I'm shining as usual today. The person running over there is Natsuki, who is in my grade. She's a fast marathon runner, but she's really quiet, and I've never had a conversation with her. Go run if you have time for a break! Uh, yes. She's Mifuyu-san, and she's pretty and athletic. She's the best sprinter in our track and field team, but... I'm not participating in the competition again. Hey, Sake, Good luck with the short distance! Okay, but it would be better if you ran me for you, son. She is an excellent runner, but she has never competed in a competition. She's a mysterious senior who always wears long sleeves and long pants. Our track team, which is full of personalities like this, is currently in danger of being abolished. Ugh, today's practice was rough. <laughs> Seriously, I'm about to burn out. Oh, I forgot to introduce him. This is my good friend Keisuke. He's a great guy. I wonder if it's really okay for me to do short distance. What are you talking about? You're fast too. But if Mifuyu-san runs, I'm sure we can get first place in the girls' short distance. <laughs> if anything, I'm worried about dragging the team down myself. Well, you're the only one that does javelin. Good luck. Oh... I forgot to mention something about Keisuke. Uh, Keisuke, watch out! Ah! Uh, are you alright? Uh, my leg... <laughs> my leg hurts! A truck suddenly jumps out and hits Keisuke. Uh, uh, ambulance! He broke his leg from the accident. The next day, uh, Keisuke can't compete because of his injury. So, we need to choose someone else to run short distance in his place. Huh, I'm not going to, no matter what. But, but... 
she's the fastest. Why? Uh, then... Huh, I'm a guy who only cares about jumping higher than anyone else. Short distance is not graceful. Uh. As always, I have no idea what she's thinking. There was no other choice but for me to become the sprinter. Toya! Widen your stride! Yes! No, not like that! Mifuyi-san Spartan training began. Uh, why is it me in the first place? This is ridiculous. I'm the slowest. And it's always Keisuke at times like these. He always gets a fever the day before a school trip. Or falls and hurts his hand the day before a test. Uh, he needs to get an exorcism. What difference does it make complaining? What? Um, senior, why don't you want to compete? Huh? It's none of your business. Oh, okay. I practiced hard, but my time didn't improve. The team is going to get abolished if I keep this up. There's no way we're going to get into the top three with this. The conditions are too strict. I'll ask the principal to loosen the conditions. On my way to the principal's office, Mifuyu-san walks by. What are you doing here? Oh, Mifuyu-san. I was about to go talk to the principal. I'm not sure I can do it alone, so please, come with me. I don't think it'll work out. I somehow got Mifuyu-san to come, who didn't seem convinced, and went to the principal's office, but he wasn't there. He's not here. Mifuyu-san, what are you doing? Why not take a look while no one's around? No, but... Everyone has a seeker or two they want to keep hidden. You never know, we might find something that could be used to our advantage. That's not good. Mifuyu-san searched the principal's office. As I helped her look nervously, I heard footsteps getting closer and closer. M mifuyu san He's coming back! Oh no! Hey! Is someone in here? Huh. No one's here. That's weird. I thought I heard a voice. In retrospect, it didn't matter because we didn't find anything. But I hid under the desk out of the guilt for poking around. <sighs> Don't think he sees, but... I'm way too close to me for you, son. Hey, so cramped. Uh, am I the only one getting really nervous? Me for you, son, seems composed. This posture is numbing my legs. I shift my body to change positions, but at that moment, I accidentally touch me for you, son's body. Ah, where are you touching? I, I'm sorry. It wasn't on purpose. But you need to keep your voice down, or else. I can see you. What do you think you're doing, entering the principal's office without permission? In the end, the principal found us and we got scolded. I'm home. I couldn't even get to ask the principal. It's over. Toya, you're home. Uh, sorry, but uh, can you help me? Uh, yeah. My family runs a hair salon and I help my dad by sweeping up the hair. This amount of hair... It excites me. I don't know if it's because I was brought up in an environment like this, but I found it fascinating to see someone's hair get shaved. I bought new hair removal cream, so I'm going to get rid of all my shin hairs today. I'm tempted to shave all kinds of hair. Is he okay? Yeah, he's uh, growing up just fine. Just as the competition was approaching, so did the sweltering heat. Due to unprecedented weather conditions, today's temperature has exceeded 45 Celsius. It's the kind of weather that makes you sweat just by standing. Ah, uh, it's so hot. Shouldn't we be getting ready for the track competition? Oh, yeah. I don't even want to be wearing clothes in this heat. Yikes! I'm about to melt from the love for Maraboshi san! Even on the hottest weekends, the team continues to practice. Uh, it's hot. It's too hot. I get thirsty instantly no matter how much I drink. I'll go buy something to drink. Speaking of which, seniors wouldn't care if the track team disappeared. But Mifuyu-san never misses practice. It's such a hot day. Maybe I'll get her some ice cream. Mifuyu-san, here you go. I know you're tired from practice. Oh, uh, how nice of you. What? It's melted. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's all over my pants. I thought I was going to get in trouble. Oh, no. 
What? M me for your son? Mifuya-san falls to the ground as the ice cream drips down her pants. Could this be a heat stroke? Wh what should I do? While I was in a panic, a flock of crows swooped down to boot. Wh what? Why are there crows? It looks like they were after the ice cream in Mifuya-san's pants. The crows started pulling on Mifuya-san's pants. The hey, hey! If you pull that hard... Stop! Go away! Mifuya-san's pants were soaked with sweat and ice cream. Ah! The crow snatched the senior's pants and flew away. Oh, my head was in a swirl. And as my gaze fell on the senior's leg... What? I was wondering why she only wore long pants, but this was why. You are a girl. It's understandable that you'd want to hide it. But I can't hold my temptation seeing legs like this. What? Is it okay? But she's sleeping. It should be fine. I take out my own hair removal products and begin shaving the senior's legs without permission. Uh, come on, take off your pants. Take them off. S stop! Uh, oh, it was a dream. Wait! Uh, what do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. I just had to shave it when I saw those legs. What? No way. All the hair. What's going on? I'm sorry. I just love shaving hairs. That, that's quite the strange fetish. Mifuya-san's leg hairs were incredibly bristly. These bristle hairs were my biggest insecurity. It's a condition called androgenic hyperplasia. So I have to wear long sleeves and pants all year round. I've tried shaving them off before, but the hairs are so thick that I can't get a clean shave. I ended up shaving both of her legs clean. Whoa! It's so smooth! I'm glad you're happy with it. If it's okay with you, I'll shave your hairs whenever you like. Thanks! I might enter the competition. What? The reason why she never wanted to enter competitions was because she didn't want to wear the uniform. And, on the day of the competition, thanks to Mifi-san's performance, the team won the overall title. Wow, high school students are amazing. Yes, that's why I set the goal high for them. And just like that, the track team was saved from abolition. But, as I was leaving the awards ceremony... Ah! Oh no... Hmm, are you okay? M moroboshi san uh, I'm sorry. I will clean it up right away. Ah, you like this kind of thing too. <laughs> Looks like we can get along. I wax my maid myself too. What? Really? Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!